So today I'm gonna to show you what to do when your transmission fluid looks like. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna show or not in the sun. Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you've seen the other thing about Spectra and this piece of shit radiator uh, blowing the cooler out in filling my trans with coolant. So we're taking multiple gallons of uh, Max Life transmission fluid. I love this shit. I literally put this transmission fluid in anything that's not a hybrid or a CVT transmission. Everything else that I work on for transmissions gets Max Life. Um, even this old 97 uh, F350 with a uh, big block in it. Um, so yeah, basically somebody starts the truck, um, which I was starting the truck and then coming and filling it through the uh, through the um, funnel here. And then we have the cooler lines for my uh, gigantic cooler in here. And we have those disconnected so we're not ruining the cooler um, or so we try to keep all this Pepto-Bismol out of the cooler. And uh, we just have it hooked up to the cooler lines. You find, you find which one's the return, um, we'll, or the uh, pressure line coming out of the trans, and you feed that into a bucket and just start the truck. And when you start the truck, it'll just dump out of there. And as, you're, as the truck is running, you fill it. Anyways, uh, hopefully uh, it comes out really clean here. You know. Okay, so, we, so we've ran about six gallons through five and a half gallons and uh, you can see now it is running pretty much just like fresh brand new trans fluid uh, so hopefully uh, there was minimal damage to the transmission from the Pepto-Bismol mix of coolant and uh, Max Life uh, but we're not going to find out for the long term because right now the trans already still shifts good alright well wish me luck on this one